Yeah, thanks for your time, Simon. Another close game, but yet you're on the losing end again. What did you make of that? Uh, the first half, I thought we were right in it, to be fair. We completed really high, which is what you need to do against these teams, and put them in a bit of a hole, um, you know, energy-wise. And then the second half, we didn't start well with a kick out on the full, and then a lot of individual stuff in there really let, sort of let the pressure off. We did start building a little bit, pressure release, pressure releases all over the place, so pretty disappointing. Um, you know, everyone can say when they get a, a loss against Lee and that, oh, we, we did all right against them, but, you know, we want to be beating them. But, you know, they, are, they are a good team, they've got some really good individuals within, but they're not, they're not unbeatable and uh, I think we just need to change our mindset a little bit. Well, how do you beat them then? Where did it go wrong tonight, perhaps? The individual errors. Uh, we needed to stay in the game for as long as we could um, and to make it an energy battle, make it make it an area that, that, that Lee won't visit too often throughout the year. That, you know, we're having to go to the well, you need to take them there and I thought we just, we just let them off. We had five sets down there ending that second half and scored from two of them. So that tells the tale, play at the right end of the field, you've got an opportunity, but yeah, we're far too many times coming out of our own end because of our own silly errors, to be fair. And with regards to the full-time and part-time thing, you know, is the gap too big, perhaps, in the championship between full-time and part-time teams? Um, I think on a one-off occasion, they're not, you know, they're not superhuman, they are beatable, of course, but over the course of a season, a full-time advantage does, does play its part. The, the ability to get up tomorrow and recover, whereas you know, half of our lads will be up on a building site tomorrow morning, it, it, does, sort of, it does catch up with you as the season goes along. And Lee, um, Newcastle, I believe, are full-time as well. You know, they get the opportunity to, to really work on their bodies and they get more minutes on the field um, as opposed to us part-time lads, but it's no excuse, it is what it is, that's the competition. We've got to sort of bridge the gap in whatever way we can. But you brought Mason and Ashworth in tonight and they had a big impact really, didn't they, for you? Were you happy with that? I thought they went all right, to be honest. I don't think they were outstanding. Um, I think it probably showed us tonight we missed some of the lads that didn't play. Uh, we've had lads injured and ill, um, uh, in addition to a few long-term injuries as well. So, yeah, I thought they came and did OK. Uh, I think, you know, just, just generally, we all needed it to be a little bit better, a little bit smarter at the right times of the game to stay in it. So what do you do then as you build towards that postponed fixture against Workington uh, at the weekend? How do you build on that performance tonight? We get over this one. Um, they do come round really quick, so you just have to move on, don't you? But yeah, lads will go swimming now because we didn't want to have to give them late night tonight, full day of work and train tomorrow night. So we'll have the night off tomorrow night. We'll get a bit of recovery in now. And yeah, we'll turn our attention towards Workington on Thursday. And it's an important game. Um, we've been close, as you said, in, in the opening of this interview, where we've come out the, other, the wrong side of it, if you like. And... You know, at the end of the year, if you've got points for, for being close, it'd be great, wouldn't it? But you don't, so we need to get some points on the board and you know, back ourselves a lot of positives within all of that. But yeah, at the end of the day, it's points on the board that get you up the table and that's where we want to be. Absolutely. Well, one positive tonight has been the party atmosphere at Halifax. Just a quick note on the fans and the, the occasion that took place here tonight. No, it's been good. I think each game I've watched on Premier Sports has been good. Um, some insightful punditry and commentary from, from the guys over there. Um, and you know, opportunity to display championship rugby on TV. It's not been on, you know, for a few years since we were actually, actually last on TV regularly. And we've got a good product here. The games are the games are quite exciting, um, really interesting at times. So yeah, it's good to get that out there. And obviously, it's, it's getting more eyeballs on rugby league, which is what we all want leading into, you know, that every every new deal, I suppose, with Sky, we get down the line. The more people are watching the game, the better it's going to look. Well, thanks for having us tonight, and thanks for your time. Good luck against Workington. Thank you. Cheers, mate.